Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. Although I'm not at my homestead, we're back at Shalom Acres and we're gonna do a video today on how to butcher a cow, what it's like to butcher a cow. Now Jersey don't normally bring, hi there buddy. Jerseys don't normally bring a whole lot of meat. Um, not like beef cattle, but you, know, you gotta do something with the boys and so this is what you do with them. This is where we're gonna end up burning the gut pile and whatever remains left over of the cow. Uh, cedar burns really, really hot, burns really, really fast, and so it's a perfect wood to uh, get rid of a body if you need to. And so all this cedar limbs here that also burns very, very hot, it's got high, it's got high oil content, and so it burns real, real well. Great for just getting rid of uh, gut piles and, and body parts you need to burn up. That's a, what was it before, 30 out 6? So if you remember in the past video, this is the gambrel that we hang it with. And uh, that block and tackles, I remember as you said it was from a Navy ship. Yes. Yeah, it was uh, old cruiser that they just, that they uh, decommissioned. Yeah. They were gonna throw it in the ocean. Your tax dollars at work. <laughs> exactly what they were gonna do with it. <laughs> Okay, so what we got, we got them up there, and we've taken the heart out, the liver out, and we're getting ready to take the guts out, and that's why you see the tarp there. So you'll take the tarp, put it underneath it, and then we'll finish cutting out uh, the gut pile, and it'll fall right into the tarp, and then the tarp will be slid right... Oh, actually, some of that's being kept, right? Yes, all... Um, so the heart, liver, lung, kidneys, and uh, the internal diaphragm, those types of things, those will all be kept for dog food. All right. And then we're also going to keep the tongue... The hooves and the uh, horns also will all be kept for, for dog food. Okay. And the, the stomach and everything, where does that go? The stomach's going to actually end up being burned. All right, so we'll burn the stomach on that fire pit that we saw earlier with all the cedar. So there you go, folks. So it's 9 o'clock, and uh, we started about, I got here at 7.30, right as the sun was coming up. And uh, it's already 9 o'clock, and we've got this thing up and skinned almost completely out, field dressed. We're, we're doing pretty good here. So this is where we're at. It's a lot of work, but a lot of hands make light work. So we're taking the shoulder off right now. And it's just a really easy process of cutting in between the armpit and just slicing it off. It'll come right off. There's no ball joint or anything that gets in your way. And now you're gonna turn that into burger? Yes, this will all be a uh, burger. So there's one shoulder right there. So here's where we are at this point. And um, we've taken off the shoulders. We have taken off uh, the belly, which is going to be the bacon, uh, which we'll turn into bacon. We'll cure. We're going to take that back to an American homestead and we're going to try a video on making bacon. And then also, uh, we've taken out the tenderloins. Now this is the filet mignon of a cow. So people will ask what the best cut of a cow is. It's the filet mignon, that's what we've taken out here. And so that's been removed. What we have now to do is to go ahead and take the ribs off, basically go ahead and take uh, the hind quarters apart, take the back straps off. And I think back straps is what we're gonna do next. So that's where we're at. And it's only about what, 10.30 a.m. So now what we're doing is we've taken off the back strap, one back strap here. He's removing the second back strap right there and um, slowly removing it to get the most meat possible. And uh, once the back straps are removed and uh, around here all the neck meat, uh, most of the neck meat has been removed. We'll, there's still some right here. But uh, we'll take that off. And after that, we're gonna start working on the ribs. So we missed uh, filming the part for taking the ribs off. And so the ribs are gone. We cut them off. And this is what's left. We still have the hindquarters up there, obviously. And, but uh, the ribs, um, the filet has been taken off, the back strap's taken off, the back strap is all gone. And so this is where we're at right now. There's not much left. We're just taking trimmings off and putting it into the hamburger pile. Uh, but there's not much left in the carcass. So uh, what we're going to do here soon is probably uh, start cutting these bones into pieces. And they'll go into a dog food pile that will be ground up for dog food. And um, then we'll start working on the hindquarters up above there. So 
So that marrow inside that bone, this is one of the leg bones. Uh, Jamie will take that and she'll be able to cook that and that marrow gives an amazing flavor. So when it comes to making beef broth, this is what you want right here. You cut those bones in half, exposing the marrow, and then you put that into a pressure canner and it cooks all that goodness into the broth. And then you take the broth out of the canner and then can the broth. So exposing that marrow, that's what you want to do. So now we're down to the hindquarters and we're working on that. And I know I've been kind of cutting in and out of the videoing quite a lot, but this is the kind of thing where you got to do a lot of hands-on. So I can't film and, you know, be doing, you know, the cow at the same time. So that's just where we're at. So we're, we're doing pretty good. We're not even lunch yet. We got this thing all the way down to the hindquarters. That's pretty good. Well, it's 20 minutes to noon, not even noon yet, and the cow is finished. Uh, these are the two hindquarters that are down on the stainless steel table that we're butchering on, and these are going to be cut into roast. And so there's different ways you can cut this meat out and then save those as roast. And uh, so that's what he's going to do with these. But everything else has been put into these coolers um, based on what they are, the different types of cuts they are. Uh, this is the hamburger cooler. Everything that turns into hamburger is in this cooler. Over here is the dog food batch, and uh, everything over here will be turned into dog food that they mix with a bunch of different stuff, and uh, someone has purchased this from them, so they're selling this, and so this is just a waiting pickup uh, by the people who have purchased this, and so that's the dog food batch. But everything is done. So it took us from 7.30 in the morning, coming out, killing the cow, and then having it down to leg quarters. Now, they're out there right now, getting the fire ready. So let's go check that out. And that's how you get rid of everything else that you don't need. So there you go. Cow butchered here at Shalom Acres. Uh, had a great day and um, really enjoyed ourselves. Got through it really quick within just a few hours. Uh, we were basically done. So um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and uh, check out this list of fine individuals. These are our patrons. Uh, if you were interested in learning about our patrons, you can go to patreon.com slash in American homestead and learn all the benefits of becoming a patron and uh, again that's about it just had a great time out here folks if you're interested in more of our stuff you can check out these videos over here on the side uh, some different videos of what we do around the homestead uh, be sure to again like subscribe follow us on Twitter all right guys see you next time on an American homestead